Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos for you every Tuesday and during the busy seasons, other days too. Today's video is about one of my favorite planner companies, Golden Coil. I have a special coupon code to share with you. It is Amanda10. It is only good through November 15th. I rarely get coupon codes from Golden Coil. Take advantage if you want to during that short time period. I realize it's not that long. I am also hosting a giveaway way over on Instagram of a golden coil right now if you want to hop over and check that out. I have done several golden coil videos in the past. Those videos share these four different books. So it's a weekly layout, a different weekly layout, another weekly layout, which I used as a daily this year, and then a daily layout. So I have all these previous videos and I will link them down in the description so that you can take a good look at all these layouts. I will just really quickly show you all these layouts here. I have used all of these for periods of time, some more extensively than others. This weekly that I used as a daily planner is probably the longest running golden coil that I used. I put on passion planner tabs and you guys, I really just love golden coil. And I am excited that this year for 2021, I decided to build my planner as possibly my content planner. And I really hope it works out because I love being in a golden coil. It feels so good in hand. It's just a very unique planner that feels amazing in hand and that you get to design and customize for yourself. So each one of these books feels very personal to me because I got to customize each one. I also got to put in custom quotes in the front. I got to choose where pages went. This one, I downloaded my iCal calendar. And so I got all personal like appointments and events also printed in here. And I went into detail showing those in my video about this planner that will be linked down below. In my content planner, I did not link my personal iCal calendar and upload it into here, but that is something very simple you can do in any of the Golden Coil planners. Before I move these other books aside, I wanna talk about the cover choices because this is the first year I got an artist cover. And I got it because I love this artist cover. They had a cover design contest and this one was chosen. I picked it also because I've only had linen covers in the past and then their vegan leather cover. And I wanted to compare it to the artist cover. The artist cover is very smooth. It feels like it's coated in something and that water would just slough right off of it. It feels very similar to the vegan leather, but smoother. So the vegan leather has a texture to it as you might be able to see there. And so you feel a little bit of texture. You don't feel bumps. You just, you feel a little bit of texture. With the artist cover, it is just a completely smooth surface. You know, like this was printed on something smooth and put on here. And when you open it, you do get to see a little bit of the cover that you picked there on the edges. The same with the linen covers. I love my linen covers. The linen covers have a definite texture to them and feel. And they are also coated in something that will make water just brush right off of them. I really love my linen covers too. So I don't think you can go wrong with any of these covers. I have three linen covers here, which navy was probably my favorite out of the linens because if you followed me for any amount of time, you know that I love navy and I love it paired with gold. Navy blue is one of my favorite colors. So I just think the look of this is spectacular. So that is probably my personal favorite out of all the covers, but they all have a different look and feel. Now this is the only one that I haven't used extensively, but I used all of these for periods of time, at least several months each, and they all held up well. Granted, they all stayed in my house. There you go for what that is, what that is worth you know, considering I didn't take them out of my house. Once I run through this one, I will give you a peek into all the layouts in these other golden coils. Now, golden coil, you get to pick your page count. They have some really good information on their site. It tells you how many pages you get up to a certain coil size. So this one, I did not write in it, but I went up to 200 pages just like this one. It weighs one pound, 11 ounces, and that gives you a one and one eighth inch coil. Depending on your page count, that determines your coil size, and they have all that information on their site. That also adds a little bit more onto your price over 
a certain amount of pages. The reason why Golden Coil is higher priced is not only because they have amazing paper, quality paper, covers, binding. I love their O-rings. They have always functioned perfectly for me. I know some people do not like O-ring planners, but the Golden Coils have never given me one ounce of trouble in any of my books. They tell you this on their site. Some of your coils might look like they're bent differently, so every book will not match. And maybe if you look at this one, you can see some of the coils are a little bit different. That's because they are each hand bound, like with a coil machine, like hand bound when your book is printed. And so, you know, it's not made by a machine, it's made by a person. So it might look a little bit different, but all my coils have functioned perfectly. On your golden coil cover, you have just a, a little golden coil written there, which on the artist cover, it's easy to almost be disguised. And then it's in the gold foiling on the back, you have the little golden coil emblem. This is their beautiful new artist cover, which just screams fall to me it's beautiful calming fall colors in my opinion when you open it up you get to choose what goes on the front page of your planner so you choose the month that starts you can put anything on the front page that you want you can upload your iCal or your google calendar and they have very simple instructions on their site how to do that even I was able to follow it and do it on my own without even having to ask my son or my husband. So that just tells you how simple it is. They have 80 pound Mohawk paper, which is the same type of paper that is in Erin Condren. And it feels very similar. It has about the same amount of tooth as Erin Condren. The only thing is it's a little creamier. Now this is a question I get a lot to compare that color. I do have a whole IGTV on Instagram, and I will try to remember to link that down below, comparing the Golden Coil paper to the Erin Condren paper. As you will see, it's the coloring that's different. The paper feels very similar since they are both 80 pound Mohawk paper. They have that tooth to it. I think they're right about the same amount of tooth. I've written in both of them a lot, but you have the bright white paper in the Erin Condren, and you have a little cream. It's a cream paper, in my opinion, to the golden coil, which is supposed to be easier on the eyes. You know why Leuchtturm paper and everything is cream. That is a deal breaker for some people. So I want to make sure to point that out. Obviously it doesn't bother me. They have so many weekly layouts to choose from. You guys, it's amazing. They have a good handful of daily layouts. They just don't have as many daily layouts as they do weekly, probably because they're just the daily planner isn't as popular, but I do hope they come out with more daily layouts. They're daily, you can only fit six months in a book. I do have the daily to show you. And in between every seven pages, so in between every week, you have one lined page that is thrown in there. And that is something that just naturally comes in their daily. So it's kind of like you could have a, a weekly list in your daily, or you could have kind of like a pre-planning map of your week or meal planning type of thing. And I will show you that in the daily when we get to it. But this is a full year, a full year weekly planner with a lot of extra pages added. You then get to choose your extra pages, like your gear at a glance is an extra page, and you get to choose where it goes. Some of your pages, you can decide you want one to be every month, and it will come after your monthly layout. I didn't do that in this planner, but I have done it in some of my previous ones. I didn't do any pages to come every month or every week in this planner, but I did in some of my previous layouts, and I will show you. So I went in thinking that I was designing this for content, I'm hoping that it's going to work for me. If you followed me for a certain amount of time, you know that this past year I have used this Muji planner for content planning. And before that, I used the Hobonichi Weeks. And before that, I used the Golden Coil layout that was similar to this. So this layout just works really well for me, having my week on one side and then my list of all my content for the week on this side and then where it's gonna go. So we'll see. I will keep you updated on Instagram and here in my quarterly planning updates as to what I end up staying in for content next year. But I designed this being for content. So I put some extra pages in for that and I'm really excited about them. I did a year at a glance vertically in the front and you could choose if this goes in the front or the back. And then I did a year at a glance horizontally. I'm not sure how I'll use each one. One of them is gonna be 
for like launches. So I can just keep track of that, like when the companies are launching. And one of them is gonna be for my actual video work. And I put a third year at a glance. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for, but I just thought it might come in handy. And then in the beginning, I put in three two-page layouts of these social media pages. So each page is the same. It doesn't carry over. So each page has um, seven slots. This page was gonna be for videos that I work with companies on. So whether they're sponsored and I'm paid or whether I'm just working with the big companies on a video and doing a video for them, I wanted to just have a place to put my notes for that and to see where I am in the middle of doing those videos. I wanted somewhere to just put those videos that I was actually doing for companies, not just on my own. Then after those pages, I put just project pages because how I work on any video, this would be for any video that goes up, period. It would go here, the video name, and then all the steps to get that video up so that I can keep track of where I am for the videos and for IGTVs even too. And so it would be like, have I filmed? Have I edited? And then have I uploaded to YouTube and done all the tags? The thumbnail, is that done? The post for it, is that done? And I think that's all. So those lines are perfect for that and kind of the video name so I can see where I am. I put in, I think, 13 pages of that, 13 or 14, somewhere around there, two page layouts. There's four on each page. That would take me through at least all my YouTube videos for the year. So we will see how that works out. I wanna try that system because I haven't ever done anything like that, like one central place to keep track of that. Sometimes I write them down in a notebook. If it's my busy season, sometimes I don't like to check off where I am in the in the span of each video work. So we'll see how that works out. Then I have starting my year, I have my monthly layout. Your golden coil layout is a Monday start on your monthly calendar and you do not have a choice of this. So I know that's a deal breaker for some and hopefully since it's a customizable planner at some point they will be able to change where you get a choice of Sunday or Monday start. It doesn't really bother me to the point where I wouldn't buy it, but I do prefer a Sunday start. But this is just my content planning calendar. So in that realm, I'm completely fine with it. I don't write a lot on my monthly calendar in my content planner because I keep a separate YouTube calendar on a clipboard where I move around all these sticky notes. It's not a huge part of my content planning. Then I chose a weekly layout I have never had, but is similar to what I'm using in my Muji right now and will give me a lot more room day by day here, but maybe not as much list room because here's my list room. Although I don't post on Sunday, so I could also use that for list room if needed, but that might look kind of confusing to me, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that. You have Monday through Friday on this side and then Saturday and Sunday over here but this gives me a good big space for every day of the week to map out um, like when my YouTube videos are, which typically are just once a week on Tuesdays, and then where are IGTVs and what are my ideas for posts for that week, things to share in stories. This would be where my ideas go, and I usually put them in two lists as of kind of what has already been filmed or taken pictures of, and what I need to film and take pictures of, but all my ideas for the week, which always carries over to the next week, because it not it never all happens that week, but it's just like my ideas of what I would like to share. It's not gonna be as big as in the Muji Planner before, but I do like that it's in the two columns, so I'm definitely gonna divide it you know, as to done and ready to be shared and need to be you know, filmed or taken pictures of. One of the things you get to choose is if you put a quote, and sometimes they're at the top of your page, sometimes on the bottom, depending the layout you pick, they will show you on the page, on your preview, where your quote would go. They have different quote packages. I think I picked the spiritual quote package, and I figured I wouldn't be writing on the very bottom of this page anyway. I mean, I might have used that space if my list was longer, but I wanted to throw a quote in here. Some of my planners, I threw the quote package in and some I didn't, depending on where it went on my page and what I was gonna use that planner for. So I chose the spiritual quote package. They have several different choices. 
They also have choices I should mention on putting your holidays in your planner. And if you don't choose one of those packages, then you won't get any holidays printed on your planner. So if you want even just the US holidays, you have to make sure to check that package. I just got the major US holidays in this planner because that you know helps me plan my content. But there are, you can choose all different holiday packages, which I think is great because you can pick and choose what you want in there. They also have some of those fun holiday packages, like if you want every holiday, like the donut holidays, the chocolate chip cookie holidays, that type of thing. And then in my golden coil for this year that I used for like a good half of the year, I use this weekly planner as a daily planner. I got printed my iCal in here, like I told you. And when you choose the holidays or print your iCal or Google Calendar, it translates to your weekly layout also. So it's not only on your monthly layout, it's on your weekly. So you can see here, it says 7 p.m. YM. Yep, that's for young men's at church. It says 10 a.m. allergy shots here. Violin lesson on Thursdays. So you can see, and in each layout, it will print it and you get to preview your layout before you decide to keep it. So if if you put it all your iCals in there and you decide, you know what, in this layout, they put it on the first line on this side and I don't love the first line on that side being taken up, you know, my events. So I'm going to take it off. You, then you can just remove it so you can play around with it on their site. It's really fun to play around and design something even if you're not buying. So you can see all allergy shots are printed here on Fridays and then the typical holiday list that I picked for US holidays like Black Friday is printed there. And so... If you go to that week, and this one, I put two to-do list pages after every month. Basically, I would use one set for about every two weeks for the month for just my ongoing to-do list. So I did that in this one. That was pretty fun in this weekly that I used as a daily. And that whole video will be linked down below on how I use it and why I decided to use a weekly as a daily. If you are printing events, I just wanna show you where if you have a holiday, like here's Thanksgiving and violin lesson. And I didn't take the violin lesson off because we wouldn't have it on Thanksgiving, but I didn't look over my preview close enough, which is fine. I can white it out. But just to let you know that like if it's Black Friday and then allergy shots, it's going to take up two lines. And if you had other events on that day, it's going to take up more lines. So to think about that, but you can view all of that in your preview, like Christmas day, allergy shots. I didn't take our allergy shots off that day. And obviously we won't be going on Christmas day for that. But that gives you an idea of how holidays and events are printed in here. These planners do come with a pocket in the back. It is just a cardstock, white, cream colored pocket, and it's only on one side. And so I added, cause this one I was really using every day for like a good half of the year. I added this Erin Contran pocket that just sticks right on anywhere. It just sticks there, it's clear. It works perfectly to hold things up front. I like having a pocket there. This is the Golden Coil to-do list notepad, which comes in really handy if you wanna keep like a to-do list here, or extra paper too. Oh, and I forgot the Golden Coil ruler while I'm in here. This ruler works perfectly in their planners. It's the right height. It will work in any O-ring planner that is this height, but many O-ring planners are shorter, like Simplified, so this won't work in Simplified. But the Get to Workbook ruler will work in Simplified, and I love that one too. But this one has a light gold metallic. It actually has the numbers on there if you wanna use it as a ruler. It has just the little golden coil emblem at the bottom. Functions perfectly, pops in and out so easily. I've moved this thing all around. I actually have two or three of these. And sometimes I had them like all in here. I need to go find where my other ones are. Like here's a different year at a glance that I did not put into my content planner. So there's lots of different things in the other planners that I have ordered that I didn't put in here. So if you just wanna see all those different options, you can check out those other videos down below. So this is what I am trying out for my content planner. When I used this before for my content planner, I mentioned, let's find a blank week. I used very similar. I used where all the days were on the left, Monday through Sunday. And then I had a lot more room for my content ideas here. This type of layout's perfect for me. I decided to give it bigger days because I always need more room. I have also been using Trello to help me with my content, but I do like to get it all down on paper. So this planner, since I did not put any extra pages in between every week, or any extra pages after every month. 
that is it. My weeks just follow and they go straight into my monthlies. Now, Golden Coil does not have tabs because each of these are, you know, custom printed and all the pages are put in your very specific order that you put in there. They said with that, it's very hard to be able to do tabs. So many companies make tabs. Passion Planner makes so many different colors now. And Erin Condren makes tabs. Tabs are probably all over Etsy and on Amazon, but these are Passion Planner tabs. I did not put on January, February because I just didn't actually think of adding tabs until like March. I love these Passion Planner tabs. They made it really easy to flip to my monthly layout. At first, I had these clear Erin Condren fold over. I wasn't sure if I wanted tabs to stick out because I love the feel of this book with like nothing sticking out of it. It just feels really amazing. I found that I really needed more than this to easily, quickly find my month. I actually didn't end up minding the tabs. Then again, I'm not putting it in and out of a bag, but the Passion Planner tabs really feel like they would hold up well. I do have a $5 off Passion Planner if it is your first purchase, over $15, I believe. That is down in my description also if you're going to be purchasing from them. Those are just the ones I chose because this earth set matched the cover of my golden coil perfectly. So tabs are an option. I don't know if I'm going to add tabs to this content planner. I have not thought that through yet. We will see if I end up needing them. I put all my extra pages at the beginning for my content planning. And then at the end, I made this, you can start it any month you want and make it for any length of time. So if you wanna add a ton of extra pages and only make your weekly planner a six month planner, you can do that. If you wanna add a lot of pages and make it a seven month planner or an eight month planner, that is your choice. So I love that option. I put those beginning pages up front and I made this a January through December planner. Then I put a couple meeting notes pages back here for if I have more extensive phone calls and meetings, with different companies on planners and sometimes I do and I usually just keep those in an Erin Condren notebook that is I kind of call my channel notebook for my catch-all for my channel it might be nice to try out these pages and have them in here in my planner then I put a couple dot grid so you can see what that looks like they're light gray dots then I put a couple of graph grid pages that is also light gray. Then I put just, I think these are just the lined pages. And then I put in a couple blank pages because I just always like to have a couple sketch pages and I had a couple extra pages left. And then their pocket, like I said, is not huge and it only has a pocket on one side and that's why I added the Erin Condren pocket in that planner. So even with 200 pages in this planner, it feels really lightweight and not heavy, very manageable. It feels so good in hand. I can't explain it. I've never felt anything like a golden coil. They just really make their covers well. And all this 80 pound paper being on just the right size coil, it feels amazing in hand. And I generally try to keep my books to 200 pages, even though you can go over for one bigger size coil, I think because I just like this size of coil and about this size of book. And it's easy for me to fit a whole year into a 200 page book. Let me look at my daily here though, because it's a little bit bigger. It's one pound, 15 ounces. I did go bigger in my daily. I put uh, 242 pages in it. That might be their maximum. And one and a fourth inch coil, this book came out to be 79.60. And so this is a little bit bigger. This has like 42 extra pages. And this is one in an eighth inch coil. This is one in a fourth inch coil. And you can definitely fill it in the weight of the book. There is just more pages. And I just prefer if I can to keep it here but this was a daily and I also wanted some other extra pages in there. So there was just no way around it. I will show you kind of how this daily flows and I used it for a really good amount of time and really enjoyed my time in it too. I'm telling you every golden coil I've used, I've really enjoyed my time in. My issue is they don't have a lot of daily page choices. I'm not sure how many they have now, maybe like five. Um, and they just came out with a new one, which is probably the one I would pick now if I was doing a daily. At this point, this was the best one they had for me. And it's just, it's not exactly my first choice, but I used it for a long time and still enjoyed it. I use those boxes in all different ways, not necessarily morning, afternoon, evening. If you follow me, you know I'm always just using planners the way that works best for me, not necessarily the way they were designed. At the end of every week, you end on a Sunday 
And then you have a lined page, which I absolutely loved because you could put like Monday through Sunday and put like your big appointments for the week. So you could just have your week at a glance in here without having to turn to your monthly. And then you could also plan meals for the week. You could have a to-do list for the week. I love that in their daily planners, this is just how it comes. And that is for the fact, well, you have a monthly there. So we're gonna have to go to another week. That's so that your pages always stay on the same side of the page. So like Sunday's always on your left, then you end with the line page on the right. Monday's always on your left. Do you see what I'm saying? Tuesday's always on your right, then Wednesday and Thursday are together, Friday and Saturday are together, and then Sunday and your next week with the lined page. So they always fall on the same side of the book, and then you always have that lined page before your next week. Golden Coil is one of my favorite companies. They do not have an affiliate program, so I'm not an affiliate with them. I love them nonetheless and promote them to no end because I absolutely love them. But I just threw that in there because so many of you use my affiliate links when you purchase to support my channel. But I don't have one for Golden Coil, but I do have the 10% off if you wanna purchase right now. It's only good through November 15th, 2020. And that is Amanda 10. I would love to hear from you if you have used a Golden Coil before. I would love to hear your experience and what you loved about it or didn't love about it. One thing I forgot to mention, friction pens are not great with golden coils. That is because their ink, because it is printed each page like as it's ordered individually, is a different kind of ink. And I can't remember what they said, but it's a different type of printing process. So it's a different type of ink and a friction pen will erase their lines. So if you are stuck on using friction pens and it will bother you that you're gonna erase lines when you erase your friction pen, then Golden Coil might not be for you. But every other pen works in this planner amazingly because this is 80 pound paper. You can see every page I've written to no end on in all different colors and highlighted. And this book has probably taken the most beating. So let's look at some of these pages and turn them over. You can see this entire page on the back here was written on and you cannot see anything bleeding through there at all. Nothing coming through and this was a really porous pen. I think it was like a Pilot G2 there. I love the feel of this well-worn book. The pages just feel great when they're all written on and used up. Here's a really inky Pilot G2 pen and the pages have no trouble taking it. See the whole back of that page was written on, this whole page, and you can see pretty much every page here is written on. And as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the paper. All right guys, thanks for watching. All my other Golden Coil videos will be linked down below, as well as my discount code and a link to their website. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching, happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.